to our next player. We'll go into Mr. Devon Achan. He's up 3.3 spots, currently sitting 23.4 as far as ADP. I'm going to – I'll speak on this first, and then whoever wants to take over can take over. I don't like drafting Devon A. Chain at that spot. Um, listen, is there a world where I'm going to be dead wrong on this? Obviously, absolutely. But I don't, I don't trust either back to stay healthy. But I also don't think, again, I've said this on the show multiple times, Raheem Mostert goes back to Mike McDaniels with the days of the 49ers when he was the running game coordinator. He is the most familiar person with this system that is in that running back room right now. So I don't think that while I think most of stats are going to dip for sure, I don't think he can recreate what was that 21 total touchdowns last year. He's not going to recreate that, but he's not going to go away either. So I think they're going to eat into each other and they're both going to spend time being injured. I'm not willing to pay that price for, for, for a chain. I'm just not. And I listen if I'm wrong, Come, come get me fantasy receipts. You guys know I love you, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm not in on it. So, um, uh, you know, just so I don't do a jumble fuck here, Anthony, you could speak first. A- Devon A. Chan, are you buying into that? Again, he's up 3.3 spots, but what are you thinking? You know, Steve, you can attest to this. You were on the show last year at this time or yeah. and during draft time. I was all on an A. Chan for the day he was drafted. Through the offseason injuries, training camp reports, and it paid off. I am fairly out on Devin A. Chan this year. A little bit in best ball, sure, because he does have that pop factor sure. in those spike weeks. But in terms of, like, let's say, FFPC or just your standard redraft league, I'm not going to have a ton of Devin A. Chan. He is way too volatile. Um, and, and Miami, they kind of showed their hands bringing back Mostert and drafting Jalen Wright, who I believe is that, you know, Wright's going to be more of a future play because, you know, how much longer is Raheem Mostert going to be there? But at least for this year, like, I don't think Raheem Mostert's going anywhere. And, and he does have a nose for the end zone, which we've seen. Mostert mm-hmm. also has been able to stay healthy since coming from the Miami Dolphins, I get lengthy injury injury history with San Francisco, but since he got banged up at Miami, the end of the year. But yeah, but you're right, but, you're but, right, right. You're like right. so, and then Achan. If anything, he has the injury history. If we look at David Achan, Devin Achan last year, preseason shoulder sprain, uh, knee sprain in week five, toe soreness, bruised ribs week fourteen. There were also games. Like that New York Giants game, he had like 20 PPR points in the first half, barely played in the second half, kind of got knocked out of that game. There were quite a few games where he was barely active because of injury. So, like, when we're looking at the price points, and again, this is, I I think Devin Achan is is a terrific player. His 5'9", 188 frame, that worries me. Can he take the beating? If we look, he had those spike weeks, week three against Denver, week four, Buffalo, week five, New York. You know, 51, 27, 21. Rest of the season down the stretch, you know, week 13 against Washington, uh, you had 25. After that game from weeks 14 to 18, he only had one more game over 12 PPR points or mm-hmm. two over 12 PPR points. Week 18 against Buffalo, we had 13. Week 17 against Baltimore, he had 23. Couple of games under 10 PPR points. A lot of volatility here with Devin H. Hand. And what we're looking or what can we get around him? Kyron Williams, Derrick Henry. Um, I, I'm taking Derrick Henry, especially in redraft, almost every time sure. uh, over Devin A. Chan. Uh, yeah. Maybe Kyron, but Kyron has a little bit of injury concern. And, and Travis Etienne is about that tear break for me. But like when it comes to like, can I can I swallow that pill? Uh, it, it is hard for me to do in redraft, and I and I love the player. Just the situation, the injuries, most dirt just worries me a little bit. And also Fails his cold. offense. And I know ATL doesn't want to hear it. If Tua mm-hmm. gets hurt, it's oh, just God. like if, if Mike Matthew White. Stafford gets hurt, the, this yep. offense falls apart. So yep. all, does all of his fantasy assets. And I say it about yep. the Rams too. I'll say it about Miami. Tua goes down, the whole ship goes down. And just before we kick it to Steve on this, you 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 brought up Kyron Williams, and I think the reason why it would be an easier pill to swallow with, you know, I think it's the decision's harder if it's Kyron Williams because at least with him, yes, I know they drafted Blake Corum, but the competition is not as real with the Rams 
for Kyron as it is with the Dolphins mm-hmm. and and Devon A chain. So yeah, so there is that. But well, I I think so. What M- Moser compared to Blake Corm? I mean, we we Corm was true. We don't know what that role is going to be. Corm oh, was outstanding in college. Get out of here with that. Yeah, uh, but right now but, he's the starter. Well, go look up starter. college reference and tell me all about it. But I'll tell you what <laughs> I saw right. last year from Moser right. in in the same exact offense. I, I don't right. know. Whatever. Okay. Same. Yeah, um, Mostert still is the guy there. And what, he's 32, 33. I remember Dynasty a few years ago. I traded him, uh, traded a third-round pick to get Mostert, and he got hurt again, once again. And I've fucking always been a Mostert guy. And last year, I traded a third-round pick. I, I traded Mostert for a third-round pick, and I got absolutely fucked. Uh, and I didn't take too much. I didn't take enough Raheem Mostert last year, and he went ape shit on the league. That was his, you know, do year after all these years of just getting hurt, not fooling, you know, sharing in roles. So uh, I, he doesn't have a lot of tread in the tires. I mean, I don't think he has one season mm. with over like 250 carries. Um, never, you know, so he's, he's always been getting hurt. So he's fresh. This guy's a surfer out of New Smyrna, Florida. He's fucking athletic. I still think he could be a very <laughs> high quality player. Um, a Chan, yeah, like I, I know the upside. It's fucking explosive. He could he could certainly be a beast, but second round is just I haven't clicked on it yet. Maybe in a home league, like third, fourth round, I kind of like that. But you know, you're you're playing an underdog, you're playing in high stakes. Second round is just a little too expensive, but I see why people are chasing that upside to potentially win fantasy championships. Pete, what says you, buddy? Um, well, there's a lot that's already kind of been said about it. I, I'm I'm not high in, on a chain. Smaller back. He's dealt with injuries. I don't like to predict injuries, but you know the extended time where he comes back, gets hurt, comes back, gets hurt, like that always worries me. And he left a bunch of games early last year. Um, I I look if a chain falls another round, which I don't think is going to happen. I'll t- yeah, I'll, I'll be either. I'll be in on him, but I just don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, and I don't know. I mean. We've seen this before, like the efficiency metrics are great and all, but when your efficiency metrics are off the charts, like a chain, this is the NFL. Mm. It ain't going to stay like that forever. Like, uh, like it, it's just not sustainable. Right. And, and I don't think his volume goes up. I, I think Jalen Wright being an addition there um, is, is only going to hurt him. And I, I, so, yeah, I'm not, I'm not super, uh, I'm not super happy with his price tag and i'm just i'm not i'm not going to own him if he's going to be yeah, cost, basically you're saying that that basically you're saying a chain's going to take over for most or for the most part they're going to find yeah. many more creative ways to get him you know used uh in the offense which mcdaniel's already kind of referenced to um and then you maybe you're betting on a most injury which you know has plagued him throughout his which career could happen. throughout which could last happen. year so but i mean you're betting on a lot of things obviously yeah. so uh, second round again it's just it's tough yeah. Uh, I'm sure Pete has a couple of questions he wants to get to, but I do want to just mention Anthony. Anthony, did you hear what mm. Pete said? He said, this is the NFL. So you right. tell Blake Corum that. Not this is the long. NFL. Okay. <laughs> why do you hate Blake Corum? I don't. I'm just having fun arguing with you. Okay. Again, I, I I just texted Anthony privately. I think that we were born to argue. We were born to argue with each other about Blake I, I, I think yeah. that it, yeah, it is Kyron's job to lose. Yes. But like Kyron, yeah. he gets banged up a little bit. We saw that last year. What no, if but Blake Corn comes in and he just smashes? We do not care. And my plays, and my argument plays was himself the com- onto the field. But my argument was the competition's <laughs> more fierce for Devon Achan with Raheem Mostert sitting there with 21 total touchdowns last year than it is for Kyra Williams with Blake Quorum, who just right. walked in the door. I mean, is that not fair. fucking fair? I like Kyron. I'm, yeah, I'm, with, I'm with Hoff. I'm with I don't Hoff. dislike Kyron. I'm just putting the facts out there. I don't think we can totally. I, the, I, I'm not Kyron, Kyron and Achan are pretty similarly priced. I'm going Kyron 90% of the yeah. time. In my opinion. You take a vape. I'll take a drink. Pete, do we have any questions? Uh, we we have one. Um, well, we had two, but I'm not sure. It was a while ago. I'm not sure if they're still there. No. Looks like somebody helped answer. Ronald, Ronaldo, no, it's fine. Ronaldo Torres is one of our mods too, and we appreciate it. it looks like he helped nice. them out and appreciate answered that, him anyway. Man. Yeah, so we we got that. But uh, Ray Barons says ten person PPR. One keeper league, no factor in draft order. Kyron Williams or Saquon Barkley? Um, I'll answer. I I, I mean, I, I'm high on Saquon. I, I haven't ranked as my RB4, I think, this year. 
Um, so, and I, Kyron, I think if I went to my rankings, I want to say Kyron, um, Kyron's my seventh running back. So I would definitely, I'd have Saquon over, over Kyron. I, I wouldn't even think twice about it. Well, the caveat is it's a keeper league, right? Yeah. So, well, and there's no, and there's no ding true. on round that they, he took him. It's just straight. Yeah. I know. still think I'd rather have Barkley just cause I feel safer and trying to win a championship. Yeah. Uh, but I think that that that's all the questions we have. We have we have I don't know how many we have we have two three guys left. The second yeah. guy on the list I really want to 